Hello everybody, Eddie Lane here, and Luis Magana is playing from Flyright Aviation. Today's purpose is to uh, do discussion and demonstration on crosswind takeoff and landings, um, and maybe some short and soft takeoff and landings also. We're here at uh, Perkins Overton in Nevada, right north of Lake Mead, and we're about to take the runway for a, uh, we'll do a crosswind takeoff. I'm going to pull that high wing back, looking around the pattern, nobody's there, and pull that high wing back, like that final. Everybody's there. Perkins Travix, Cessna 734 Ray Hotel, taking off runway 13 for left closed traffic. Lining right. up on the center line here. We have a slight left crosswind. Crosswind takeoff starts off with full aileron deflection. As I add the power and start going, the, the deflection of the aileron will overcome the crosswind, and uh, I will maintain center line that way. Eventually, as I go faster, the aileron will overcome the wind, the plane will start to go left, and I will ease out a little bit of aileron and maintain the center line. The wind will actually keep me on the center line. Now I get a good crosswind there. Rolling down the runway, full throttle, needles, pressures and temperatures are good. Center line, center line, full aileron. I'm starting to take it, the nose is going to the left. I'm starting to take out a little aileron, maintaining the center line. A little less aileron, a little less aileron, and a little less, and right before rotation, no aileron, then I just go up and I put it into a crab. There we go, we're right on the center line. We got a win from the left. And I'm holding a little bit of right rudder for P factor. I'm not holding the plane in a crab with the rudder. All I do is just take off and change course a little bit. Like when you fly cross country and you have a wind correction angle. That's all you're doing in the up one. You have a wind correction angle. 